Welcome in all my friends, Lazy Retired Granny here, and welcome in to Laying Down Drills with Friends. <laughs> yep, this is the week that we're doing the special shape, special drill canvases. And I got this beautiful can uh, canvas of a peacock that I am doing. Just started this. So yeah, come along pretty good. Okay, and beside me, um, oh, today is Tuesday, May 7th, 2024. The time is 7.08 a.m. here in sunny skies, <laughs> Salem, Oregon. And I have beside me my caffeinated breakfast blend coffee with French vanilla creamer. And what are we going to put underneath the candle lamp? today. Compliments of Rebecca along with that canvas that she sent me. So what should we do today? Here's a pretty red one. Let's see what that is. Boy that passionate fruit yesterday. What was it called? No tropical fruit. Oh man. I had that going all day yesterday and yeah, it smelled so good. So today we have strawberry passion. So let's take a look at this. It's almost strawberry season here in Salem. Let's open this one up because it is shaped like a real strawberry. And you know what, as my usual, I am going to cut it in half so that I can use it again. Mmm, smells wonderful. Oh yeah, Ooh. Ah, it smells just like a strawberry. Oh yeah, I love strawberries. Yeah, back in the days when I was growing up, we went out in the strawberry fields in the summer earn money for our school clothes and supplies. Yeah. I think I started doing that when I was 11. I think you had to be 11. And yeah, so I did that for a few years. Ah, coffees. Mm, wonderful. Alrighty then. So... Yeah, this canvas has 11 different drills. And let me show you the, the key here. I got a mess on my desk here. Alrighty, we're off and running. Oh, we got to do our emails. Oh, just about forgot. All righty. So let's see what we got. All right. Okay, we have a message from Leslie laying down special drills. Thanks for showing them on the whip and chat. I'm not sure if I will use the hair clips or not. The clips on the back of them aren't very good, but I might replace the clips. I do clip my hair up in the back sometimes. I got them from Amazon, but I think they are at Timu, too. I have a special drilled owl coming from Tamu, or Timu, but it might not be here for another week. I don't think it has crossed the border yet. <laughs> Shipping to Canada is very slow. <laughs> And 
She sent me the link, I think. Let's see if I can look at this. Ooh, yeah. That is beautiful. Do I have that owl that she sent me? Um, Rebecca sent me several owls. Ooh, that is going to be beautiful. I want to look at this picture. Can I? Oh, I can. 30 by 30. Look at that drill field. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. I love the owl eyes. All right. Uh, let's see. How do I get out of here? All right, and then we have Patricia just finished this Saturday. Enjoy doing this, and it's a notebook. I think she did a notebook before, too. That is pretty. I love those colors. Nice. All right. And then we have Julie. She says, hi, Linda. I have attached a few special drill canvases. One is before and then finished. The other is one I'm starting tomorrow. It is one you can hang. My tiny fun monthly painting is half done. I started two days before you, and you're already finished. <laughs> That's because I rushed through them because I wanted to get started on these. I multiply, multi-place too, and can't keep up with you. <laughs> you are fast at that single place. <laughs> LOL. I know it's not a race, but boy, that cracked me up. I love watching your channel. I am finally caught up with your videos. Now to get caught up with some other creators I watch. I hear you there. I am so far behind. Keep up the great work. You are awesome. Love Ellie and her secret messages. We'll see if we get one today. All right. So, okay. So here's the before. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. And here is the completion. Oh my gosh. Look at those eyes. That is spectacular. I love it. I want it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is beautiful. All right, and then, oh, we have a hanging one. Another one dedicated to Ellie with the bees. <laughs> oh. That is going to be gorgeous. Look at all that yellows and the greens with it. I love those two the colors together. I'm going to look at those wings. Wow. Yep, I love that one too. Okay. think that is it. Alrighty. So thank you everybody for sharing those. I so love emails and showing off what you guys are doing and just not what I'm doing. 
Okay, so I will tell you. Oh, I lost my, there it is. I am having some issues with drill stickage on this one. And all right, here's the deal. So I'm starting on this first color. Number one, I have spilled my drills, I don't know how many times. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking user error a lot on this one. I'll bring this down just a tad. There we go. Um, I have, you know, I switch between wax nano tape and generally I do not use the nano tape on budget friendlies because you have to clean that quite a bit <clears throat> um, generally I just use it on the um, premiums it works a lot better that way but I've been using two different waxes forever. And the one wax that I was using, it just wasn't, I, I don't know, it must be worn out. Um, I just had a little tiny bit left. I don't know what I did with it. Um, yeah, it's well used. Here's, here's, I balled it up. Yeah, and it just was not working real good for me. So then I switched over some other wax that I use. And yeah, it's well used also. And it wasn't working. So I got out some red that... Rebecca sent me, and I'm going to try it now and see if this works better. I really, really like, though, this, this particular one, so I'm hoping it works. It's so soft. I don't know where she got this, but I really like it. I've also used... All right, where am I at? There's so many of the color that I'm working on right now. There's so much that um, it sometimes confuses me where I'm at. Where should I go? What path should I take? Um, I also used the glue, or the glue, the paste, or the wax from this pen which is self waxing you, you move this and that I like it but it's just not working on this so we're going to try this out now and see where it gets us so I'm bound to find something that is going to work on these drills I got a lot of wax to choose from. Yeah, I have, uh, I don't know what it is yesterday or last night. I was kitting this up and um, I was laying down some of these drills which are beautiful by the way and I, I must have spilled drills like I don't know three times and it's like are you kidding me come on I was a klutzy person last night
it has rained so much here that yesterday I went out to Pooper Scoop. Oh my gosh, squish, squish, squish. Luckily I was in my boots and um, yeah, you just splash across the yard. So it's, I think, I don't know. Hey Google, is it gonna rain today? Probably not. Today in Salem, there's only a low chance of rain. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fahrenheit today? In Salem today, expect a high of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 36. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna dry out today. And now the grass is way long. So, yeah. Yay for me. Yeah, nothing on the agenda today. I I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday or when it happened, but I gave up on that knitting project and just made a little scarf. That is off the needles. And I don't know. I Maybe I was just looking at it wrong and how it was supposed to fit together. I don't know, but it's done. I'm I'm done with it. I'm done messing with it. Um it was no longer fun because yep, you know, I was ripping out constantly and it's like no on to something else. So I have another pattern that Ross over at Smells Like Yarn had recommended a while back. So I'm gonna try it out, see how far I get on it. Uh, let's see. Um, it is. I don't know how you pronounce that. Not a wasaga buff. <laughs> it's a easy pattern. It's a free pattern. What I don't understand is it says you need to knit, purl, slip, slip, knit, and knit two together. But... Um, the notes on it that um, he gave, because I always write down all of his notes that he gives, um, a four weight, you use a nine needle, you can use cotton, um, a bulky five, you would cast on 72, 72 stitches with 11 needle, if you want to make it longer, add knit rows on decrease part. Okay, so um, but on the pattern, If you notice here, it says row two, SL1, which is slip one. That is not in these stitches originally. So that's interesting. Um, And this is supposed to be difficulty easy. <laughs> now, for me, I would say, and I've been knitting a long time, so I mean, you know, it, it's okay. 
but for an easy pattern for a new um, knitter, I just don't know because I, um, I don't want to um, rip this to shreds or anything, you know, but I don't know, maybe their idea of easy is different. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm not for sure. There's no picture of this and I can't remember. Um, what it looks like, how he showed it. So that's what I'm going to be working on. I still have to find some yarn. So, yeah, I'm going to try to get that on the needles today. I I'm all caught up watching Ghost the US version and I was going to watch Ghost UK version but um I did start season 1 and I just I don't know I just didn't like it as much as the US version Plus, I think there's like five seasons, but only the first two seasons are free on Paramount. And then everywhere you have to start purchasing them. Nope, not going to be happening. And yeah, I just wasn't getting into that one as much. So... Um, so then I moved over to Acorn TV and watched the latest episode of Brokenwood, and then I watched, um, Murdoch Mysteries, the latest episode of that, and... Then I went back over to Paramount and watched the latest episode of Tracker, which Tracker's sister came into the picture, and she's a pretty good actress. It wasn't, there was a few actors in there that it wasn't more like a Hallmark moment acting and so it was a little bit better actually but yeah it still has that hallmark feel to it <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so um Yeah, so today I still have to watch Blue Bloods from last Friday. So I'll be watching that while I start my knitting project today. Oh, you're so funny. <laughs> oh, 
Kelly's over there crunching. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so funny. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's see. What else am I going to do today? That's about it. That's about all that's on the agenda today. <laughs> got to work up my energy to mow the yard as soon as it dries out out there. Coffee time. Mm -mm. Well, this wax is working excellent. I don't know where you got that wax from, Rebecca, but it's working for these drills. Yay for me. Okay, emptied the tray. I need to wash that tray because um, it had the spill your grill spray um, stuff in it. So get out a new tray. And I need some more ones. These are so pretty. Can you see those? I love these. And there's a lot of them. So I won't be changing colors on this whip and chat. I'm using a different pen. I've gone through about five different pens. And I did notice that I thought I'd put a new tip on this, but it's looking a little warped. So I haven't used this pen in a long time. trails on this one. It's all over the place. <laughs> this is very, very colorful. So what did I do yesterday besides what I just told you? Um, I did not, I repeat, I did not 
take a nap last night, yesterday. I'm trying to get on a better schedule. So, I did read a little bit last night, and but mostly I cuddled Ellie. She was in a cuddly mood last night, and so I cuddled with her, and then cracked open the book, read a little bit. So I was probably asleep by nine. I didn't read very much because Ellie was being my little snuggle bugs. And I'd rather snuggle than read. And then she must have got too hot because <clears throat> She may have woke me up. I don't know what woke me up, but I woke up about midnight and went to the bathroom and then um, I noticed that she was on the couch. So she may have, she gets too hot and so sometimes she'll move to the couch for a while and then yeah then she comes back up and snuggles with me but um, yeah I went right back to sleep and I slept till about I don't know 415 I think it was so that was a good night for me So then I got up and got my coffee going. Ellie had to go potty and and I went on and to see um, I finally finally got into the video of John at London City Walks uh, where he's doing the the competition for 2024 and just started watching that I had a couple other ones to watch of his that's what I've been doing this morning because I really really wanted to watch these two videos to find out which horse and trooper. Well, did you know that the horses are also troopers? Yeah, they're considered troopers. It's their title. So right now he is going around. Hi, Ellie. <laughs> oh, Ellie, you're so funny. <laughs> Okay, here comes a secret message, I think. She's not in a place where her tail's hitting anything. <laughs> she fits underneath my desk. Yeah, no. If she's right in the middle, then, yeah, her tail doesn't quite fit, hit the sides of the desk. So. <laughs> oh, Ellie. Did you eat all your breakfast, girl? Huh? Did you eat all your breakfast? Where'd you go? You went underneath my desk and disappeared. Oh, she's going by the door, which means she may have to go outside. She hasn't been out for a few hours. She usually goes out after she eats. Yeah, she kind of likes to walk off her breakfast. Let me see if she ate it. Mm. Ellie, you ate all your breakfast. Good job, girl. Are you back to your old self 
again? Yeah. Oh, I get kisses. Yes, I do. Oh. You have to go outside. All right. Yeah, she does. So I'm just going to put you on pause while I take her out real quick. If I can find my little clicker. And I am back. Yeah, she had to go out and sniff around, do her business. Oh, I forgot when I was out there with her. Um, I remembered, I don't know if anybody noticed or not that I have a new thumbnail. Um, my son, David, who is next to me, um, I was, he installed this app on my phone, which I cannot figure out how to use to do different thumbnails and whatnot, but I don't know. I'm just not smart enough to use it, I guess. But anyway, um, he was designing different thumbnails and um, he <laughs> was sending them over to me and I was putting them on, taking them off, and had <laughs> different ones yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Um, anyway, um, I think we we have one. Um, unfortunately, he has to work, so he was just helping me during his break. And uh, yeah, he... <laughs> He does TikTok, and so he does, I need a new tip for this pen. I can tell that already. Anyway, he does a lot of all that over on TikTok, and some of the stuff on TikTok doesn't work on YouTube, and, uh, you know, that he can do on TikTok. It's different than YouTube. So, um, I don't know how to explain it, but anyway. Um, so, yeah, I think <laughs> for this go around, we found something. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I will tell you, I mean, it's not real easy to do these thumbnails and stuff. <laughs> um, and how they create them and, and whatnot. I mean, but what takes him, you know, I don't know, you know, 15 minutes to do would take me 15 days. 15 months, 15 years. Um, and really trying to figure something out that I think is me. Um, yeah, it's, it's hard. So... I don't know what I'd do without him. He does so much for me. He's a good son. I'm sure there's times when he says, Oh, Mom, stop bugging me. <laughs> but he's pretty patient. Or, why didn't you tell me that in the first place? <laughs> but my brain doesn't work that way. <clears throat> so, I got to put a different tip on this. I'm done with this tip.
Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Okay, get out my... I have a... I don't know if I showed this, but these are all tips that I've taken off the pink pins, and I have this little... I think it was a little jewelry box. Um... I don't know what it says here. From Italy. I can't remember even where I got this. I've had it a long time. But I thought, you know what? That fits perfect for my tips. Alright, so I got a new tip on here. That looks good. Some wax in it. All right, rock and rolling again. Let's see if this. Yeah, I haven't used this pen in a long time. Been using my other ones. Oh yeah, that tips better. up with Ellie, take her outside, I got me some more coffee, and I warmed it up in the microwave, and got it nice and hot, and, yep, now I just sip it, There's a lot of these. <laughs> they are going to sparkle. I love this um, color drill. I think it's like a, I don't know, it's a 310 with the iridescent to it. So they do change colors and Hey, Ellie. <laughs> you got your Minnie Mouse and you're sending a secret message now because you're feeling good. You've had your breakfast. You went outside. It's not supposed to rain today, so I think we'll go out for a little walk. To run off some of her energy that we have we haven't been able to get out because it's just been pouring down rain <coughs> excuse me it's a long message this morning she has a lot to say to you guys Secret message. She's a happy girl today. Yeah, I've been trying to spend more time with her she loves sitting on the couch with me and watching TV and have me rub her belly she loves her belly rubs
try to remember that, you know, she's, she's a dog. She doesn't, you know, she can get bored just doing nothing. So I'm going to take her out, let her get some sniffing time in. Google's right. There's not going to be rain. Hey Google, is it going to rain tomorrow? No, it won't be rainy tomorrow in Salem. It'll be partly cloudy with a high of 19 and a low of 6. Sorry, he's not doing Fahrenheit because I've got him switched to UK. Hey Google, <clears throat> when's it going to rain in Salem again? It won't be rainy in Salem, Oregon tomorrow. It'll be sunny with a high of 19 and a low of 6. Let's see, what's today? Tuesday? Hey Google, is it going to rain on Thursday? No, it won't be rainy Thursday in Salem. It'll be sunny with a high of 27 and a low of 9. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fahrenheit on Thursday? Thursday in Salem, expect a high of 80 degrees Fahrenheit <gasps> and a low of 49. 80? Are you serious? Ooh, wow. All right, well, now I can plan my, my lawn mowing time. Hey Google, what's the temperature going to be Wednesday in Fahrenheit? In Salem on Wednesday, expect a high of 66 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 43. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So are we going to have a heat wave happening? Hey Google, what's the high temperature Friday in Fahrenheit? Friday in Salem, expect a high of 84 degrees Fahrenheit. <gasps> Whoa! I was not expecting that. I wonder how long this heat wave is supposed to last. Hmm. But it's still getting kind of cold at night, huh? Alright, I've been on here just about 50 minutes, so I better get off of here, let you go, but I do appreciate you stopping by, and uh, yeah, don't forget, send me your emails, send me your emails, and um, comment down below. And let me know what you're doing. Send pictures. Um, let's see. What else? Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't become one of my friends, just hit that friends button. Also known as subscribe. And if you want to be notified of my future videos, yep. Click on that bell. Ring the bell. <laughs> okay. Thanks for stopping by. And I will chat with you later.